Hi everybody, welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Watercolor Wednesday. I'm Leslie Watkins. How are you all doing today? It's a beautiful day in New England. It's a little bit humid, but it's starting to feel like fall here. And uh, I've even seen some of the trees beginning to show some orange leaves. A lot of the leaves on the grapevines are drying up. So uh, definitely change in the air here. So today is September 21st, 22nd. There's only eight more, seven or eight more days until the end of the month. And, um, and we have a special going on right now called Celebration. So if you're new here, I use Stamping Up products to be able to share with my students so that you can follow along with me. It's, it's really quick and easy, one-stop shopping. The products are fantastic. They're really good quality. There's a broad range, and there's not a lot of extra stuff that you don't need. It's just the, the best of the best, so uh, it makes it very easy to select what you want for your paper crafting, and that's why I like it. And a couple of times a year, they have a special program called Sale Abration when they have a special. And it is that for every 50 or $100 that you spend on fine paper crafting tools, supplies, papers, stamps, whatever it is, you get to select a free product. And I'm going to show you the brochure today of the products that you can select for free because I have a special announcement to make. So this is the celebration brochure, and you can also look at this online. So if I haven't sent you one of these already, um, you, can, you can see it online. And after the video today, I will post a lot of links underneath in the description where you can find all the things that I talk about today. And so you can see here that celebration goes from the 3rd of August to the 30th of September. And in this book are a selection of items that you can select for free, as I said before. And I'm going to do a burst. So I'm, going, I'm actually going to do a, a quick sneak peek preview today. Uh, of one of the stamp sets. But starting on Saturday, skipping Sunday, because I don't do videos on Sunday, and then going to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I'm going to do five videos, each one featuring a different Stampin' Up, or I mean, um, celebration item from this brochure. So let me show you what they are. So the first one, the one I'm going to do today is Feels Like Home. And this is a, a beautiful set. It has this very intricate scene of a beautiful front door on a stone house with some potted plants, a hanging basket, and a beautiful old fashioned bicycle. And, um, and for this one, I'm going to do a special watercolor technique but only using two colors. So I'm going to use just two colors today and show you how much you can get from just two colors. So this is going to be a very special watercolor Wednesday. On Saturday, I'm going to feature the Counting Sheep set. Now, these are two separate items. So one is the stamp set and one is the dies. And you can get each of these for a $50 order or both of them for a $100 order. And so you've got these three little sheep. It's got some birthday greeting, you're amazing. And then it has these dies and that includes this fence. And so I'm, I've got some uh, 3D ideas 
to use with this stamp set. So that's going to be a, probably a little bit longer paper crafting Saturday because it's going to be a, a project. So if you tune in for Saturdays at 12 noon, you want to make sure that you have your coffee and your snacks ready for that one. We skip Sunday and then starting on Monday, I'm going to be using this set. And this is a really interesting set because this has all of these wonderful design elements in it. So it's got this great spatter, these frames, and then it has these kind of uh, smudges and lines. And these are going to work great for um, decorating boxes, using heat embossing and gilding. Um, I could see using them as a uh, overall DSP background and then stamping on top of it. So this is this is a very nice, more of a design tool than a standalone stamp set. Uh, so what was that? That was Monday. On Tuesday, I've got the Summer Shadows die set. And this is a die set that coordinates. Let me make sure I get the name right. This coordinates with the Shaded Summer stamp set, and that is on page 75 of the big annual catalog. But I'm going to show you how, even if you don't have the stamp set, how you can make something really beautiful with these 3D flower dies. And it's got some leaves, it's got some outlines, and uh, a nice assortment here. So that's going to be a lot of fun making 3D flowers with that set. And then finally, on Thursday, which is the last day of celebration, I'm going to be doing something with delicate dahlias. And this is a very interesting stamp set because it's got two of the same images, but very different. So one is a linear image, an outline image, and the other is a photographic image. And uh, I believe these these kind of stamps are called the distinctive stamps. So they get a very 3D kind of effect when you use them. So we're going to play around with, um, with these stamps and see what we can get them to do. And this, by the way, um, I really like the sentiments in this uh, stamp set, especially this one. It says, you inspire me. And I've been using that quite a bit. I, I love that because what I aim to do more than anything is to inspire folks to um, not be afraid to have fun and create and make something beautiful. And uh, I love when you uh, give me these comments telling me that you've been inspired or that you like the videos. I really appreciate that because that's what I want to do. And then also it has here, thank you kindly, oh so happy for you and sending heartfelt sympathy. So this is a good set to have. This one, this is a $100 purchase set. Uh, I believe this is a $100, let's double check, make sure I'm telling you the right thing. Yes, so that's, this is free with a $100 purchase. You can get the dies free and the, the, the delicate, did I say delightful? I meant delicate dahlias is also free with a $100 purchase. If you if you select it, you can select any one you want. And there are more things in here, by the way. There are also all kinds of wonderful papers. There's glimmer paper, there's DSP, there's some really beautiful Christmas paper, which I've been stocking up on. So, um, so now is the time to act on this until December, uh, sorry, September 30th. All right, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to put these things to the side and I'm going to show you what we're doing today. So this is a this is a very fine lots of detail image and it is possible to paint it or to use markers or um, colored pencils whatever you like to color it in but frankly it's a lot of work and um and yeah if you have if you have an evening and time to do that that can be a lot of fun but sometimes we just want to use an image and do something that's beautiful but it's also quick and easy and i'm going to show you a way you can get 
the effect of all of this intricate detail, but also uh, tackle it in a in a smart way so that you can gr get a really good atmospheric effect with very little effort. And um, and I love this, you know, I love these little decorative el elements. And there's one here of a pot of tulips and it's, it's very tiny. It's only about an inch high and three quarters of an inch wide. And I'm going to show you how you can make a cute little piece of uh, embellishment using that today. I have my Fluid 100 watercolor paper out. I have a very vanilla card base. All of the materials that I use today will be listed below and uh, with a link to my online store. So if you see something that you'd like to have, you'll be able to just get there very quickly. And let me see if I can zoom you out a little bit here. I've got a water painter, I've got a spritzer, I've got a couple of reinkers in uh, an orange and a blue. You can use any colors you like. These are uh, complementary colors on the color wheel. So I'm looking for, so it could be a yellow and a violet, or it could be a red and a green. I picked orange and blue today. Got a couple of paper towels, and I've got my stays on saddle brown ink now this is a, a solvent ink pad this is different from the water-based inks that you see me use all the time this is a solvent based ink pad and that means it will not move with water so that's going that's what we're going to stamp our image with and then we're going to paint on top of it and those lines should hold so we'll see how that goes and then i just have this tray here that i can use my uh, to mix my colors on. I'm going to get out my plexiglass. So I'm going to be doing some spritzing. Okay, so there's my plexiglass. Put my card base out of the way so that doesn't get spattered. Now these stamps are red rubber stamps. And what that means is that you can get a very much more detailed image than with the photopolymer. I mean, most times you can't even tell the difference, but with a, with a stamp that's as intricate as this one, and I'll give you a close up. I think you can see here's the size of my hand and you can see all of the detail that's in there. So so this this rubber stamp will be able to impress with more of that detail. Just checking my settings. I want to make sure I'm live and I am. That looks good. Okay. This is a brand new ink pad. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's also the first time I'm using this stamp, so I may have to do this a couple of times before I get a good impression. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me get a sip of coffee. Ugh, oh, much better. Give that a little rub. This is actually a, a pad that has a fabric on the surface, and sometimes when you rub, it helps. 
and I'm going to put this right down just thinking about which way I wanted the card to be oriented I'm going to give the ink a moment to transfer and there is my image and that came out very well especially since this paper is a textured paper being the watercolor paper so since I have everything out I'm going to go ahead and grab my little flower pot and get that on there I think I'll do a couple of these so I can experiment a little bit. Oops, that didn't come out so good. Let's try I smudged. Let's try again. Mm -hmm. All right, not the best impression. I'm going to grab another piece of the Fluid 100 and see if we can get a better image. Sometimes when the stamps are brand new, it takes a minute for them to get going. Okay, we're going to work with that. Not my best work, but when we get done with it, it'll look just fine. All right, so let me get this area cleared away. And I'm going to just cut this off here. Do it this way. So this is going to measure, mm, let's try three and a half. And I'm going to trim this down a little bit. Not yet. Let me let's see how the how the painting looks before I decide where I want to trim. All right. So here's my tray. I'm just going to put a couple of drops of the orange ink on one side and then a distance away I'm going to add a little bit of blue and I'm going to use plenty of water to dilute so here's a here's a puddle of water There's my orange. And because the blue and the orange are complementary colors, meaning that they are opposite on the color wheel, I should be able to get a nice toned down color. So that's what I'm looking for, something in the middle. All right, and it, it almost has, with this particular 
these these two particular inks, it almost gives me this beautiful kind of a green tonality, which is just fine. So there's my spectrum that I'll be able to use today. So I'm just going to put this to the side so you can see me as I apply the paint to the picture. There we go. All right, next I'm going to take my spritzer. Okay, and I think these come in a package of two. They're very inexpensive and they're really handy to have. And I'm just going to give this a light misting. I want the, the paper to get damp but not saturated. This paper is 140 pound paper, so it's very thick and it'll take quite a lot of water as will most watercolor papers. Now you can see that even though, well let me just show you how wet that is, you can see the surface is shiny I think, okay? And even though it's nice and wet, my lines haven't moved and that's because I use that solvent ink stays on. So I'm just going to take a very wet wash and I'm going to begin to drop that in there and just sort of let that let that have a very soft edge to create a vignette. Okay, so, so there's my vignette. Vignette means that it's just an image that has a, a soft edge that fades away. And then for the for the floor here, the ground plane, I don't know if this is a patio or what, but I'm just going to warm that up. There we go, and then I'm going to add some of this greenish mixture to my tree. And I don't care that that water, uh, I'm sorry, that the, the color is flowing. That's exactly what I want it to do. Okay, and so just like that, in just a, just a matter of seconds, I don't even know that we've got, gone into the minute category here. I've already got a very convincing, very attractive little scene. All right, so that's a very, very easy way that you can get a, a lovely effect using just two colors, and a, and a stamp and just get this very sort of detailed effect without a lot of work. And now I'm just going back in here and there and adding some, some darker accents. I'm going to go back and give my tree a little more tonality.
All right, so that that is it. Very pretty. And you can put a little extra color here. This is looking a little pale. All right, I'm going to put this aside to dry. And while that's drying, I'm going to get out my flower pot picture. And this time I'm not wetting it. I'm just going straight in. with my color and you see that gives me a much harder edge which is fine both ways are fine whatever you like and let's see if I can pick out some of these flowers actually let's um Let's do this. Let's do another one a little bit differently. So here are a couple of more, not the greatest stamped images, but that's fine. They'll work just perfectly for what I'm doing. I'm going to use my spritzer on this one. And let's see how this looks as a vignette. So I'm going to go back in and I'm just giving that a soft edge. There we go. doesn't have to be perfect folks you can get a lovely soft impressionistic image without trying to paint every single little detail in fact oftentimes it looks a lot better that way so don't be afraid to have fun all right now that's good and wet I'm going to let that dry and come back to this one and I think this is yeah, this is dry enough that I can get some darker accents in here. So I'm just mixing up a very dark green. And I'm just putting a couple of little shadow areas in the leaves, on the stems. And then I'll do the same thing on the pot. Okay. I'm happy with that. This is still very saturated, but maybe if I'm careful, I can begin to get a little more. Oops, too wet. Okay, I'm going to let that dry a little bit more. Okay. So those are my flower pots. I'm going to go back now to my scene. And you can see that some of that color 
did spread out. And so if you want to get a little more control over your edges, just give it a chance to dry and then go back into it. So now it's still giving me a very soft edge, but the color is not spreading as far as it did earlier. So I can add a couple more touches like so. I'm not sure what's supposed to be inside of this basket. Let's take a closer look at the stamp. Well, it looks like it's a bunch of daisies, a big bunch of daisies. So that means you can put a little bit of green where their leaves are. Okay. So I think that's about as much painting Let me just get this door a little attention. There we go. All right, so I think that's about as much painting as I'm going to be able to um, do on these today because they are pretty wet. But let's see how they come together on the card. I'm not going to glue it down, but I can place it so that you can see. Just make sure that my surface is nice and dry. In fact, you know what? Let's just let's just move the plexiglass all together. There we go. All right, so that's what I've got so far. And here's my card base. And this is what that would look like mounted on the card base. Now you could choose to put a mat on there. I actually really like the way this looks, just simple like this. And let's see. Let me grab a piece of cardstock for the sentiment. And um I'm going to go with, I can't thank you enough. Can't have too many thank you cards. So I'm just going to line this up as best I can. And for this, I think I'll use, I'll just go ahead and use the stays on again so that it matches. Not that it has to match, but I have it handy. I'm going to do that again. Hmm. 
too much. Better. Sometimes you have to give a, a new stamp a minute to be able to accept the, the ink nicely because I think there's a little residue on the, on the new stamp. So that's starting to look pretty good. That's much better. Okay, I like that last one. So I'm just going to snip that out. Okay, now I want to make that a little bit thinner. That's it. It's a little bit crooked. Let me straighten that out. Take a scooch off. Much better. Going to give that a little bit of a wave. And when this is completely dry, I'll mount that and I'll just put my sentiment on there, something like that. All right, so that's my two-tone watercolor treatment to this feels like home stamp set but I'm not done yet I'm going to quickly show you what I have in mind for these little ones hey Joanne I didn't see you there I hope so Joanne, I hope you're going to sign up for the design journal flip through tomorrow night. It's at seven o'clock. Everybody's invited. There's no charge, but you do have to register for it. So um, please look for that email that I sent out. And by the way, anybody who, if you'd like to join us, please go to Dandelion Cottage Design and subscribe to Notes from Dandelion. Uh, cottage and I will send you an invitation to join me in the design journal flip through tomorrow night at seven o'clock it's going to be a lot of fun you can bring a beverage a snack and just um, relax and have fun with friends and um, and then the design journal workshop is the registration is now open so if that's something that you're interested in you can uh, look at that as well that closes on September 30th. For all of that information, you have to get onto my mailing list so I can send you that uh, email and it will have links. And I'll also, after the video today, put some links in the description to make it a little bit easier for you. So, okay, so what I want to do here, and actually let me just start with one of these, is, um, so, this is the rectangular postage stamp punch. And if you use it as is, it gives you a shape. Oh, and when you use the, the watercolor paper, you have to give it a good squeeze because this paper is much thicker. But anyway, so there, so that's what you get with the punch as it is. But what you can do is you can also 
punch out an image from the side like this, okay, and then to get this edge, you can use your tweezer. Oops, here goes my ruler right into my ink. Okay, so I'm just grabbing a corner of the of the paper with my tweezer, and I'm just going to feed that back into my punch, just like so. And actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab it from this side. It'll be a little bit easier to manipulate. So there it is. And then get that lined up with the scallops. And once it's it's arranged where you want it, you can go ahead and trim that so that you have a much smaller background, more like a, a, a postage stamp size. So I just wanted to show that to you. And now um, these things can be mounted. You could you can double them up to make them thicker. You could use this to, to make a cute tag out of, or you can use them to embellish your, your cards or your, or your journals. And one other thing that's fun to do is to use some of the shimmery crystal effects on top of that and let that dry um, for a couple hours. And then you can have a kind of a 3D little shimmery embellishment that's very nice. So that's what I've got to share with you today. All right, so there is our Feels Like Home stamp from the Celebration Catalog. This stamp set is free. If I can zoom in here a little bit for you. This stamp set is free with a $50 order. And I will have a link with all of the supplies that I used today. And if you're interested and you spend $50, you can select this stamp set as a, as a free gift with your order. I hope to see you on Saturday for the first day of the Celebration Burst. I'm going to be doing that 3D project using the Counting Sheep stamp set and dies. And it's probably going to be a little bit longer video, so bring your coffee. And don't forget, you have to just today and tomorrow to sign up for that flip through. So uh, there's no charge. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'd love to see you there. Stay well, stay happy, and stay creative. And I will see you next time.